Hey Pisces, welcome to your love reading. And this is going to be a reading for the upcoming month. Yeah. So Pisces, I hope everyone is doing well. Um, still, we're still on summer right now. And um, I hope you're enjoying the sun. <laughs> All right. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's find out what's going on in your love life. If you're dealing with someone, if you have someone in mind, let's find out their energy. How do they perceive you, their feelings, as well as what's the likely outcome of your connection. All right. Pisces in love. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Pisces, I love it. Just to start with, um, your energy, Pisces, Libra. Libra energy, justice energy. Yeah. Could be that you would be, likely so, you could be dealing with a karmic connection too. Yeah. If you're dealing with someone that could have been a person karmically, connected to you at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of wands so you could expect that in the month of august love life wouldn't be in any form of stock situation yeah because there are some movements changes energy flowing from one person to the other and vice versa right um for you pisces i like it justice reflects balance um, karmic connections um, as well as getting into the bottom of things making that decision just imagine the judge right you get all the data all the information that you need and at the end of it all based on logical approach you know the reality of your situation so that's that's where you you can expect yeah that you will be now um, all right we have the chariot Five of Pentacles, uh, Eight of Cups, the Fool, and the Seven of Wands. I see you could be dealing with someone who can be a Cancer, Libra, Aries. Yeah. And this person is... I feel like this person would take actions towards you deliberately. So you could expect somebody calling. If you haven't, you know, I mean, if they haven't called you, if they haven't reached out to you, you could expect that in the upcoming month. But for some of you, it could even happen this week. Yeah? Or this weekend. Somebody will reach out to you, will be, e will be more eager to talk to you. And somehow I feel like there is a sense of them wanting to open up more. You could have some questions back then. Like I said, it's karmic. So this could be somebody that you may have already dealt with in the past. And you may have a lot of questions back then that they try to evade. They try not to respond to you. Um, but I feel like they're coming in uh, in full force deliberately. And this person would open up to you about things that you were asking about that were left unanswered. So they're coming in, giving you answers, uh, being more open, deciding basically to like approach you, be with you. It's a decisive approach from them. And likely so, I feel this person would like to build a trusted connection with you. So like I said, if, if a person has been hot and cold in the past, this energy I see is more like someone who wants to approach you and build trust yeah a, a good, better foundation of your connection it's a good one i mean if this is somebody that you want it is going to be a good one because it's a deliberate approach right? um i feel like at, you know this person may have if you're not if you haven't been talking for a while um the time spent apart this person may have been feeling um lack of attention um, or lack of support either from you or from the people around them i see there could also be some financial issues if this person has go to, ghosted you in the past um, the energy of there could be some financial struggles that they have to deal with 
Right? They were trying to float. They were trying to um, get over a certain situation, a personal situation they may have. Uh, they see that uh, Pisces, this person sees that you are not um, you are not needy, you are not clingy. For the most part, you are somehow emotionally detached from them. Yeah. And possibly this person could be suspecting that you could be out you know out and about or trying to find new ventures, new connections, new acquaintances. But your focus is definitely not on them. They know it, they can feel it, they can see it. Now, actions and likely outcome, I feel like um, they want to take a leap of faith towards you, meaning they want to initiate, they want to see how things would grow from here because there is a deliberate action here. So once they initiate, um, there is a sense that they would try this out once again. Yeah, but with good intentions, with good intentions, yeah. the energy of them wanting to to take action is really there. But you could expect Pisces that the actions or the progression could be a little bit slow, or it's not in a very fast pace. It's not like when they call you, they want to get back together right away. I feel like this person will take it as a normal pace. Yeah, because if there's been some separation, of course, there has to be that um, period of reconnection, getting to see whether both of you still on the same page or whether both of you can still be on the same page. Yeah. So that means that they may take it um, slow, uh, but steady. And their actions towards you, even if they want to do more, there is a little, they would be a little bit cautious because of course, knowing that if this is a person who left, then they also know that they cannot just get back to you and get their, their original priority spot in your life. Yeah, so I see that they want to take this new leap of faith towards you to do that initiation, to even start getting to know each other again, but they will do it in a very, um, with caution, basically, at least on their end. Let's clarify more, Pisces. What is justice? Yeah, I feel like you are trying, you are getting into some form of balance state, especially for um, next month. Uh, you will feel better as opposed to, let's say, in the past couple of months, uh, given that if you were. I feel like there are there is that new opportunity that you are starting on. This could be related to money, uh, financial assets, or even work, right? Or an opportunity that has been granted to you or that you have been uh, wanting to get, hence the devil energy, right? It's an opportunity that you have been eyeing on, laser focus on, and it took a while for you to get there. But August, you'll get it. For some of you, you are already getting it. This the confirmation by this month, but in August is where things would start to unfold, and it's the time when you can start really um, working towards it. You know, like uh, putting effort into that opportunity, seeing how the possibility of it growing. Like I said, it could be money in love. This could also be um, a call, an offer from someone that you have been waiting for. You know, or you could be waiting for someone to reach out to you, someone to give that opportunity that you can talk again with each other, or an opportunity to start over. If you have been waiting for that, it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's something that you may have even be very obsessed about in the past. And it's coming. All right. And this person really is coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This person sees you as a star. And the connection with you, I feel like you, you have someone, Pisces, who is a dreamer. Someone who dreams about a future with you. Someone who dreams like... 
um, the connection with you is a meant to be type of situation. Yeah. And they are taking careful steps. I feel like they're doing that because they don't want to mess this up this time around. They don't want to mess this up this time around. They can see you also, you know, this person admires your inner strength. They admire your um, good hold about your life. Like you are, you know, they admire you. You and your life somehow. And I feel like they want to be part of it. But they are strategically looking at ways to approach you this time so that they won't mess it up. Yeah. Uh, this person could have had um, financial issues in the past. And they were trying to really get over that uh, situation. Possibly finding a new job or finding a new way of earning. But there is a sense that um, they had to focus more about on their life, on how to make ends meet before they can really focus on relationship. So if this person may have left, the reason why, yeah, the reason for that could be that they need that time and space. They were not ready. So this is a classic case of if a person is not ready for relationship because they have other things to do, it could be this. And it doesn't have to be another relationship. Yeah, so they were not ready because of the life that they currently have, the situation that they currently have in life. For some of you, um, this person has been wounded in the um, past relationship too. Perhaps if they have been divorced and then there are some implica financial implications that may have left this person really rock bottom yeah hitting rock bottom but i feel like now they know how to get into that phase of stability if even if they have not you know they might not have uh regained back the same status that they had in the past in terms of financial success but they know their way how to get there as of this time all right now This person admires your resilience, Pisces, the way you carry on with life, even if it's tough. There is something about you, something about you. They may have known it online or they may have known that about you. But they know that even if life is challenging, yeah, you never give up. You're the type of person who never give up and you're open to change. You're open to evolve. You know, you have this um, sort of mutable type of approach in life adaptable so if if a situation works for you you carry it on but then if that current situation no matter how long you've been in that situation but you know it's not working whether it be a relationship or work if you have been at that work for so long and then it's not working for you anymore it's not making you happy then you are willing to venture out into something new you know, new idea, and that dreamer, the dreamer side of you, comes into play. Yeah, your imaginative, uh, the imaginative side of you, which could be very helpful in those situations. So, in this person as well, they know that you have that resilient approach in life in general, even in love. Perhaps if they have been going back and forth, uh, hot and cold. You know, some people would probably cut them off right away. But for you, every time they approach you, it's that uh, you will deal with them based on that current situation yeah, and see how things would evolve. Yeah. People might say that you are giving a lot of people several choices or several chances, not choices. It seems like you give people a lot of chances. It's because you take things per situation. Yeah. Whenever they approach you, it's a new situation for you and then you deal with it. And then you're open to see, okay, this is a problem. What can we do about it? Yeah, so that's that's how they see. And uh, they can also see that your life is getting better. So Pisces, in August, you could also expect that life gets better for you. Yeah, life gets better for you. Social life, um, financial aspect, things will start to get better. Um if you are working towards a project, uh, a business, 
and before it takes a while to get to some form of result August will be the time when you feel like things can easily flow into your life. Blessings would easily flow into your life. All right. And then Pisces, their feelings towards you. They've been thinking about it. So if this person has already approached you, contacted you, or if they haven't, that's something you can expect. But don't ever think that one morning they just wake up and think about oh i have to call pisces now mind you this person has been taking some time off yeah thinking um reflecting and contemplating about their connection with you so if there has been a gap there has been some conflict between you two if there has been a gap of communication perhaps in the recent few weeks this person has been thinking about you and then finally, after that reflection, after contemplating about reaching out to you, they would want to proceed. Because here we have the suited, uh, the suited uh, pair. We have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And these are the, the court cards. Pentacles is something that it's a partnership that delivers, right? It's a partnership where you can actually see two people uh, working together for a purpose in the long run, you know, to benefit a purpose in the long run for both of you. So that involves working together as a couple, as a partner with committed uh, responsibilities or just being committed to each other, committed to the relationship in order for both of you to be successful in the end. So I see that this person really has an eye for you this time. Whoever this is, they have an eye for you this time. Yeah, and they really want to win you back. There's something about you that this person feels like they may have lost you in the past or they may, may have not seen that in the past or they may not have known how to deal with your success or how to deal with your energy, even Pisces. But I see that this is going to be a win-win situation. Yeah, win-win situation. Like I said, the action from their part would mean that it could even be they're be, being cautious about what to do next. It's because they don't want to mess it up. Ultimately, they want to win you back. Okay? And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the strength. So the holding back situation, likely so. That's the reason of the separation, right? You were not open to each other. But more so, the good thing about this strength card is that that sense of resilience yeah that you don't just easily give up and this person also just don't easily give up okay let's see advice for pisces what's the advice for pisces for the month of august options <laughs> you have many options available to you Take the time and take a wider look at your situation and explore your options. And I feel like this is relating to what I said earlier. If what you have been working for in the past few weeks, months have been pretty slow or not really moving into certain direction, you're not getting any results of what you're waiting for, not, read, get, not getting any results of the work, not getting results of your perhaps job or relationship nobody is calling you nobody is reaching out or that person that you're really wanting to reach out to you is not doing so i feel like month of august you're going to be busy because there's many options there are many options available to you or opening up for you all right the day and night there is currently disharmony due to existing differences in some manner so I feel like this could be pertaining to the connection you have with this person. Yeah, There is disharmony, and that could be the reason why you have had that separation. Or this karmic is coming back again and to possibly uh, realign yeah, or address this existing differences. Because this time they're coming back with, you know, to be able to build trust with you, to be able to build a better foundation with you. Okay? Let's see. What else do we need to know about Pisces connection? 